hello friends welcome back in this video we will be talking about how to call a sql script with the help of shell script so let us see that we have a lot of commands sql command and uh, that command we need to execute with the help of shell script so on the top we have a unix server or linux server and inside the linux server we do have our databases running so in order to run the sql you cannot directly run on the shell uh, you cannot directly run it on the shell prompt so for that we need to connect to the sql plus utility and then and only then we can run our sql scripts if we are going to see these things in a practical way so just follow me we have our database running on the server let me check by using the command ps mon so the database name over here is ORCL and in this location I have created the script handy with me so that uh, we don't need to waste our time and I'm opening this file and the file name is dbcheck.sh so the first line here it is showing that it will use the bash shell as I said in the earlier video that we can have a KSS bash or bond shell as well so by default it is uh, currently it is using the bash shell next the current date i am just trying to print the current date so that we can use it uh, for the name of log file by using the sql plus it is going to connect to the sql plus utility and i am mentioning here hyphen s because whenever we are connecting to the sql plus utility you will find that basically it is showing some lines of code like uh, it is connecting to the sql plus like that so we don't want that message to be print over here and it should go in a silent way for that we need to use hyphen s so initially it is connecting to the sql plus utility and hyphen s to connect it as a silent mode slash as a csdb i am considering here that it is using the os level authentication so slash as a sysdb you can also mention the user id and the password over here and here is one more important part here is end of file and whatever the things which are going to happen inside the sql plus utility that are going to be saved to this log file if you observe here carefully here i am mentioning dollar current underscore date dollar is a variable which will be replaced with the value current date so here we are getting the current date and that current date will be used for the name of log file if we are if we go inside here you will see that set verify off because we are not doing any kind of the verification normally verification will happen when we you know uh, when user needs to give some input kind of work and that needs to be verified let's say you are saying like m person a uh, in the sql command so m person will replace with the value which will be input by us so at this point i am saying set verify op set line pages one two three four five this is basically useful because that uh, whatever the output we are getting it from the sql plus that needs to be formatted call username so username here it is not required so i am just uh, uh, editing it because we don't have any username here this is basically for the formatting of the output and we have the second column name and open underscore mode basically i am checking over here uh, what is the name of the database and the open underscore mode means current status of the database exit will exit from the sql plus utility and end of file so whatever we are mentioning all those will be tracked inside this log file the log file location is slash home slash oracle database underscore status this is the name which i given here but i am also attaching current underscore date which will be replaced with this current date and dot log file and uh, again here i am giving only the uh, right bracket only single uh, bracket you can see over here if you give two bracket let's say you are uh, running one file uh, running this script one um, at this point you are running the script and it is generating one log file again you are running the same cell script definitely that log file should be append or you can replace it 
but if you want to append it you can just give it like double right bracket but i don't want to append the existing log file i want it to be replace it so i will just remove it just go and save this file okay in order to run the shell script dot slash and then shell script name if the shell script is available in some different direction uh, different location then you need to provide the path but since i am available on the same location i am just doing it db check dot sh but before that you need to check the permission ls hyphen lrt here i can see db check dot sh is having the executable permission and the oracle itself is the owner so it should work db check dot sh i am running it so we have run the db check dot ss shell script it has connected and it's supposed to create a log file also in the same directory so in order to check ls hyphen lrt current time is 1720 and it should create 1719 here you can see it has created a file database underscore status underscore the date because we have used a variable which was representing to the current date so this is how we can run the shell script i am just checking what it has printed here you can see it has printed the name of the database and open underscore mode the current database name is orcl and it is currently up and running if you have any doubt you can comment and uh, we will try to acknowledge your mail as well please do subscribe uh, again like this video and if you wish to donate you can donate uh, you can check all those details in the description mail description box thank you so much for watching this video see you again with the next video bye bye for the day